Are you prepared for me to talk about hair loss? I thought you were, but we're also going to talk about identity protective cognition because it's, I owe it to you. Why do you, why do you come here? Why do you watch my videos? Why do you spend 20 minutes a day or more watching my videos? Because as your mentor, my job is to help you psychologically overcome your hair loss in a way that no one else can. That's why you're here. Well, today I need to intellectually challenge you with something called identity protective cognition. It has recently been said that not a lot of people are talking about this on YouTube. I'm one of the few people that do. I'm starting to feel like an expert on the subject. So few people know about it and I'm happy to talk about it. So think about this because identity protective cognition and hair loss go hand in hand. Let's, let's, first of all, what is identity protective cognition? It's when a person is so drenched in their own belief system, in their own bubble, that anytime they hear or see anything that opposes that belief system, they get offended, hurt, defensive, and as they get that opposing information going against their belief system, they actually, their beliefs are reinforced in what they already believe. It, it doesn't matter, even if they're wrong, they're still going to believe it that much more, which you see this all the time with Democrats who hear good Republican ideas or Republicans who hear good Democratic ideas. They're closed-minded even if it's a good idea, even if their own belief is wrong because it's the opposite of what they believe. So then it only makes them more of a Republican or more of a Democrat, that opposing person is only going to, it, it, it defeats the whole purpose is the point. And like when people find out I'm a vegan, some people who are very emotionally unintelligent get offended when they hear that I don't eat animal products. As if I care what other people eat, I don't care. But if, if they find that out, then they get all stupid. Well, I love my bacon, my pork, and my beef. I gotta have my bacon. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know what a pickle is? It's a bacon seed. <laughs> I'm not entertained by that. I don't care. I'm a vegan, but it's not so much a part of me that I'll get offended if I hear otherwise. I'm like, don't care. But anyway, a lot of people have certain beliefs. I'd say even most people have certain beliefs that are so part of their identity that y y there's no getting through. They're so closed minded. Now we need to bring this back to hair loss because that's really what most of this video is anyway. I'm only dressing it up and emotional intelligence and identity protective cognition. Here's what I'm here to say. Many of you watching my channel have identity protective cognition when it comes to your hair. You have identified so far in life as a person with a full head of hair. And now that your genetics are tr showing their true colors and your hair is leaving you, it's just like that Republican or that Democrat who's hearing something that's the opposite of what they believe. They're fighting it. They're fighting it and th their identity is in crisis mode because of that. Now, here's why, here's one of the reasons you respect me as a YouTuber, as, as someone who talks about hair loss. One of the reasons you respect me is the fact that even though I'm encountering hair loss, I've made it part of my identity. I celebrate being a guy whose genetics have led me to be someone who's probably going to be Norwood for by the three and a half years from now when I'm 40 years old. I identify as this. I, I accept it, but at the same part, my identity, my value is not based on me having hair or not. So I don't need to have hair to be confident, to know who I am, to feel good about myself. In fact, that's why every couple of years I buzz it off because I just don't need my hair to be who I am. But I just wanted to teach you this phrase so that you can understand your own personal struggle. Many of you have identity protective cognition when it comes to your appearance because in your mind, you can't be a, a good looking, attractive, respectable person. You can't be a man if you don't have your hair. And that's identity protective cognition. So even a lot of my videos such as this one are challenging because I'm challenging that thought. You may hear this and think, no, Nick, you're wrong. And then you get deflective. You say, oh, you, you, you don't know, Nick, because you're 36 and a half. You're married. You have two kids. You're settled in life. It's easy for you to say, Nick. See, that's a deflection. That's a deflection. <laughs> What's the fundamental point? The point is that you are a man. You're identified on 
all these other things that society cares about and instead you're making it about your hair because you've got identity protective cognition. So it's easy to focus on other stuff and to get distracted when at the end of the day, even when you hear truth, it doesn't go inside this hole. See that hole? It doesn't go in there. I would, it's not even that it goes in one ear out the other. It just doesn't go in the hole. It doesn't go in your ear. You don't accept it. You're closed minded to hearing the concept that society judges you on things that are not related to your hair by like a hundred more times more than your hair. They do. They totally do. So that's really what this channel is about. That's really the whole concept. But what I want to do in this video is challenge you to, to ask yourself, are you wrapped up in this identity protective cognition that your identity and your value in society and as a human being is based on you having good hair? Because if so, I think that's going to lead you to a desperate life in which you're going to be spending a lot of time, money, and energy on trying to keep up with an identity that's not in your genetics to begin with. I think that's, and it's okay to feel that way. It's natural, it's necessary, but it's also necessary to get through it by accepting your new identity like I have and accepting it either way, with or without hair, I'm the same cool guy.